definitely an awesome show. Um, I, I, could, I love Batman. Now, Batman is like one of my favorite superheroes. So when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I'm going to check this out. Okay. So definitely a good show. Um, and basically, again, if you haven't watched this, it's like the beginning. It's before Batman. Yeah. This is like, it starts right when Bruce Wayne's parents are killed. Right. And he's a kid and they walk in the alley. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so you basically, and then what Tamika's talking about with the villains, you basically kind of see the beginning makings. Of right. all the villains. Right, the development. You're right. Of all of like them. Penguin, yeah. Catwoman, Poison Ivy, um, the the what's his name? The the not jokester. What's his name? Um, Riller. Oh, the Riddler. Yeah. 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 Riddler. yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's really good. It's a good show. It's really good. Jada Pickett Smith, I was a little iffy about her, but she <laughs> and she's kill, she's killing it. Yes. I, she's a believable bad guy. She is. She is. Definitely. Even though she don't really know how to be a bad guy, though. <laughs> She's on her. But, yeah, she is believable. Good. It's really good. Well, Terrence just pulled up another show by accident, but we can talk about that next. Sleepy Hollow, another great Aww. show. Also comes on Fox. Right after Gotham. Right after Gotham. Mm -hmm. Definitely a good show. Now, I got hooked into that last season. I wasn't going to watch it at first because it was a little scary. My brother, though, was like, hey, bro, check this show out. And I'm like, because I'm not with all that cutting off of the heads and all that stuff. It was just, it was a lot. But when I actually sat down and watched, I was like, oh, this is a pretty good show. I like it. The first season, I actually binge watched it. Like, I watched, like, the, the first three episodes together, and then I was watching it every week. But I'm on it. Season two, I'm definitely watching it every week. I I've love it. I've never seen season one. Okay. Um, but I know the backstory of Sleepy Hollow, and I like stuff like this. Like, I like American Horror Story, all these little things like this. Mm -hmm. I'm a scary person, but I will watch it with the light on. And so, <laughs> when it came on with the new season, I actually like it. And it's one of those shows to where you're not lost. Maybe mm -hmm. because it's only the second season, I don't feel lost. Okay. I feel like I'm caught up. So, I like the show. Cool. Carlton got me hooked on Fox on Monday night, y'all. Monday night. Y'all check about, it out. But here's real. the thing about, here's the thing about, Watching with the fall coming back because I said, of course, and then on Thursdays you got like Shonda Rhimes, the day you got yeah, like yeah. Grays and, and Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, and even some of my other shows that I watch. I watch Nashville. I watch uh, Ages of Shield. I watch a lot of scripted shows during the season. Mm -hmm. And for me, I found myself I'm not watching a lot of reality TV me during this time. I haven't seen Love and Hip Hop since. Gotham began two weeks ago. Mm. Like, seriously. Yeah. And I don't feel like I'm missing out on I don't either. either. I just... I don't, I, 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 honestly, I'm a DVR pat rat for those right. who know me. I record everything. Last This actual past Monday, I didn't record none of the reality TV shows. I feel like Ratchet TV Monday, I needed a break from it, and mm. it needed a break from me. So I'm really... I'm I, okay. I think like, when Cheese was here last week, I was telling her, I was like, my issue with Love Hip Hop Hollywood is, like, this the influx of all these people that I do not know. At all. Like... I'm like, like I knew who again. I knew who Rat, uh, Rat, oh, not Raspy. I knew who Lil Fizz and uh, Mariana. Uh, I'm an Usher and uh, Ray, Ray J. J. I knew who all yeah. them were, but then they start throwing all these randoms like this Eric. Arabic girl and all this other and people. This, I'm like, who I'm, is this bald dude? He kind of look like Big Pun. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, who is this? I don't know. Oh, side note, y'all know he got arrested for um sex trafficking. Say what? Oh yeah, <laughs> you don't get in that right, right. But, yeah, but yeah, and I'm just like, who are these people? I don't know. And they, they whack. They're not cute. It's just, it's just. Well, she gonna go on the cuteness meter. I'm gonna go on the meter that it's just not interesting anymore. Like, I, if I, if it's if it's nothing on TV and I'm sitting at home chilling, and if it's on, I'll, I'll watch, watch it. it. But as far mm -hmm. as me recording anymore, I'm kind of I'm over it. I'm, I'm a little over it. And you know it. what I'm over as well? The but. family hustle. Don't get me wrong. I was in Tamika, love. Tamika. Oh, my God. I was saying the same thing. And people were looking at me like, why? <gasps> and, that's, and, it, and here's the thing. It's not for me. It's not because there's no drama on the show. To me, it's because I know it's all fake. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because my why. thing is, I, I know that T.I. and Tyne are going through their thing. Yep. But they're doing these trips. You know, and I'm just like, because the first season of Family Hustle, it was actually real. T.I. just got out of jail. Right. They actually showed all that whole little situation, right. whatever. But as the seasons progressed, it became more, it became a really scripted. It was like. Well, not just that, but they're never in the same scene. Have you noticed that T.I. and Tiny not even in the same house this season? I haven't watched this season. I haven't watched, I watched two episodes. And you can, remember how um Paris Hilton and, uh. What's her name? When they fell out. Um. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Nicole Richie. And yeah. remember how they were still on the same show, but they was taping at different times. Yeah. This is what Ti and Tiny is doing. Mm. And so you will see Ti with the kids, and you'll see Tiny with the kids. And I'm like, you know what? I don't believe it anymore. Like the part about that show was. But it was real. Oh, it's it was, real. It's a real he family. Up, yeah. But he really a family man. Right. And now, don't get me wrong, he's still a family man, but it's just around his kids. But it's like I don't believe the right. whole. When Situation. you miss an ingredient, you mess up the recipe. I so agree. I just. And and again, I'm not saying I want you to air your dirty laundry. We already know what it is. We already right. seen it. But it's like, I don't I don't want to see that on the show necessarily. But I want some realness. Like at least show y'all working it out. Maybe going to counseling right. or like, something. Like y'all making lemonade. 
Y'all, they, and they did that last season already. I can't. I'm, I, yeah, I feel you. I'm, I'm over it. Speaking, <laughs> of, speaking of reality TV shows, I might be late to the party on this one, but apparently Basketball Wise was canceled, the original. I read it. I was, look, I was looking it up one day, because normally y'all know Basketball Wise comes on this time. It's like, right, right. it normally it's comes on around yeah. this time, but it's not on. By original, you mean the one with... Um, with Shawnee. Oh, Tem- it was supposed to come back? I thought it had been canceled. Uh, I mean, there was... Last time I heard, there was like taping something, and then it just... They sure was because they was taping um Evelyn and her baby, her new baby, and all mm, that stuff. Yeah, it's well, just, maybe it was. Well, Tammy, of course, uh, allegedly, I well, not allegedly because I saw it. Uh, Tammy tweeted like, I guess it's gone, it's over, and I guess when Tammy says it, it's real. Well, good. <laughs> I was on, really cared. I, I mean. was re- after that last season with season five when that was a dry season. I was over it. It was yeah, and I mean they talked about her getting punched in the forehead like for fourteen of the twenty episodes. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was yeah. over it. So, it, but I mean I guess we still got with back. that show. I need drama. I ain't gonna lie to you. I need Tammy acting up. I need some some bottles thrown. I need some people being bullied. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean so, I, I'm not saying I'm for it. All I'm saying is when I'm watching TV, I'm very for that on those episodes. <laughs> 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 you dirty. Uh, you dirty. But you still have it on Basketball Wise LA, so you can watch it with Jackie Christie. I'm good, because Tacky Jackie is off my radar. <laughs> <laughs> I watch her last season. I'm real late to that party. It's over. Uh, <laughs> speaking of reality TV, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta will be returning to our TV screens on November. And, um, on yeah. November. On November. Okay. Yeah, on in. Not whatever. in, on. On. <laughs> you know what I mean. You do it, you tried it, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Real Housewives of Atlanta will be returning in November, and um, there are two new faces mm-hmm. on the screen. We have Claudia Jordan, and we have Demetra McKinney. Mm-hmm. Now, for those who do not know who Claudia Jordan is, she is right here with the long face. Claudia, jo- Claudia Jordan is now the new co-host on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show on the radio. Mm-hmm. And for, if, if you remember her beginning, she was on that show with the suitcases, What's the name of the show? Where you had to like, it was a risk show. I can't think of the name of it. It was like Risk or No Risk or something. I can't think of the name of the show. I don't know. She used to have the suitcases. Anyway. I, I, deal or No Deal? Yes. She, she was, was a, on Deal she was or a suitcase No Deal? girl. Oh, that's what she started. Yes. You know she was on um, Tiny Show too. Yeah, I mean. Tiny After the Dark yeah, or whatever. Tiny After Ain't nobody know who she was on that show. <laughs> but I like the other. Oh, I didn't. You know what? I've been seeing pictures of Demetria McKinney. And I did not realize that it was because she's taping. Mm. But my thing is. she's And for those who don't know who Demetria McKinney is, she's a Tyler Perry person. Yeah, she's a Tyler she was Perry all, She was on a lot of Tyler Perry plays in the very actress. beginning. And she played yeah. the crackhead Janine on House of Pain. I was convinced. I really thought she was a crackhead in real life. <laughs> she really had me convinced, y'all. But, um. With with Claudia Jordan, it's starting to turn into like basketball wives. You're not a wife, nor are you from Atlanta. Is Demetria a wife? Demetria McKinney's not a wife. Might not. I'm have to Google that. But I do know <laughs> that Claudia's not. And I mean, it's kind of like with basketball wives when you was bringing in Dre and all these different people just because they're in the media and mm. they're in that city. At least have somebody that's a wife. Well, I mean, they already broke that rule when they brought Kenya Moore, and she's she's not from Atlanta, and she's not a wife either. You're right, but she drama. She's like crazy. Her. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about this season. Um, allegedly, Portia has been demoted. She And then she said she found out. She didn't even know why she was taping that she was demoted. Did she find out through TMZ She or something? found something like that. She yeah. found out that she was demoted. And I'm like, dang, that's dirty. Yeah. So she's not going to be holding a, a, a peach. She, well, I thought she wasn't going to be on it at all. Why you thought that? Because that's, that's what the news report said. That Mm-mm, she's not no, going to be on it. She she's still going to be on it. She's going to come back. She's going to have a peach next season, y'all. They're just trying to <laughs> they trying to punish her for punching Kenya in the face and pulling her weave. So she's but not going to have a did you watch the trailer? It looked like, look like Phaedra is going to be punching Kenya. Well, good. Because cause I think Kenya said something out the way to, to Phaedra. And she got up and looked like she's about to punch Phaedra her. Phaedra going through way too much for Kenya to be talking right now. Like, for real. Agreed. For real. And I feel, and on the record, I feel like Phaedra's held herself very well for everything that she's gone through. She is really astute with everything that's going on. Because mm. I wouldn't even be able to be taped. And I hear that um, Nene, this is Nene's last season. Good. I feel like. She washed up. <laughs> I feel like if it is, though, I think the show needs to be over. Why? I'm kind of, I mean, I, I guess I'm putting all reality TV in a box. I'm kind of, I guess I'm over it. I'm just kind of just like, so Nene, Nene, like when original people Nene is the, is the, okay. the last original housewife. And mm-hmm. I kind of, yes, she is. Candy was on season two. Oh. She wasn't on season one. I never watched season one. No, I don't think anybody did. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know who's going to make it. 
<laughs> but yeah, she is, Nene is the last original housewife. Oh, okay. So after Kim left, it was like just Nene. Oh, so okay. I feel like if Nene leaves, then it's kind of like. Well, Kim pregnant again. Who cares? I mean, blessings, but. She a baby factory. Maybe we can put her back in. No, that's not. I heard she wanted to come back. I read that she she was willing to come back. I read that Sheree was willing to come back. Nobody wants Sheree. Oh. <laughs> I don't, but I'm just saying. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with this show. After season seven, I feel like we should just call it a wrap. Nah. I watch it on commercial breaks from my other shows anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, shave yeah, or no shave. And it is a lot of shave for me because I have a Sunday night lineup on ABC. I watch Once Upon a Time and I watch Resurrection. Oh, my gosh. Did you see? Y'all, we didn't even plan this, but did you see Once Upon a Time? Did y'all see it with the um, Frozen? That was good. Yes. Oh. It was good. Once Upon a Time is that show. Now, I'm late to the party on that show. This is my first season oh, watching that show. This, it's a good show. I got in last, like, the mid part of last season oh, of Once Upon man, a Time. It's, it's a, so good. It's a good show. I love it. I'll be telling people, yo, watch Once Upon a Time, bruh. It it's, changed your life for it's real. It's a, Sunday uh, won't it? Definitely. It. And, and and I know you don't watch Resurrection, but that's a good show, too, by the way. It's really good. Y'all, Carlton tells me about these shows, and then I slowly lose bits and pieces of my life because I have to watch every last one of these shows. <laughs> so I just X everybody out every day of the week because Carlton always says, J watch this show, watch that show. He is my TV guy. He doesn't like it, but I'm just going to be <laughs> honest with y'all. I go to work, and I say, Carlton, what goes on TV tonight? He's, Tamika. <laughs> I ain't came from last week. Carlson's my TV guy. If y'all want to know, y'all ask Carlson. Y'all email Carlson. Y'all Facebook Carlson. Don't Carlson, be about Carlson, me. Carlson knows and Carlson will reply. Don't. Carlson knows and reply. Don't reply, be repelling me on Facebook. If you talk about what's on TV, by the time you email me on Facebook, you can look it up on Google. It's easier just to ask you, though, because Google can be incorrect. <laughs> He's like a walking ass Jeeves. I'm telling you. <laughs> Y'all, I can't live. I can't live. Oh, oh goodness. Oh Jesus. Okay, okay. So let's let's move on to our next segment because we're about to get even sillier. We got a new segment it's called Say Wit. Say Wit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what. This is. <laughs> Let me tell y'all how this originated. So we'll be at work and someone will say something out the way or we'll be talking about something and Carlton will say, Say what? And then he will say something. I will say, Say what? So <laughs> we decided that we should have a segment called Say What? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's basically just things that we've heard in the media and stuff and it just makes you go, it's like what? Right, exactly. Really? But it's not what. It's like what? Like W-H-E-T. Yeah. What? Like mm -hmm. that. Now I'm going to get props to my sister Kendra because actually... She did say something about a wet, like, I think she was talking about, like, a, a, a scripted show that she wanted me to do, like, a web series or whatever. Because when I told her about it, we were doing this, she was like, Carlton, you real whack, yo. You a fraud. Because I was like, what? And she was like, because I came up with an idea. Da, 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 da. So, Kendra, this is your shout out. Here, this is for you. Our very first Say Wet segment. <laughs> so, let's start. Since we talked about Once Upon a Time and Frozen, there's this lady who is claiming <laughs> That she, that Frozen stole her life. Say what? Right. I'm like, what? 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 Like, what are you talking about? She, she basically, she said that she's suing Disney because they stole excerpts from her autobiography. I don't know what the name of the autobiography is. Neither do I care. But she's saying that Frozen stole her life and she's suing Disney for that. What? But get this now. Frozen is in a frozen place in a frozen <laughs> town with a magical person and a walking, talking snowman. And this woman is from Tucson, Arizona, where it's hot and it's steamy and nobody knows frozen magic and she does not have a Olaf. So, <laughs> so what? <laughs> what part did they steal of your life? Um, Is your sister named Ella? I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, what part? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out did your, did your sister throw ice? I mean, like, that's not even that's not even real. Like, was what you cold you? one winter when you made a snowman and then you was walking around like, ooh, I can create snow. Like, I just really don't get it. And you know what? A lot of people try to get over, but I'm going to tell you who you're not going to get over on. Disney. Okay. That's you, what you ain't going to do. You, you lost that. Disney actually could steal your life and you still <laughs> 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 Sometimes I feel like Disney stole my life, but uh, what you gonna do? Nothing. What am I gonna do? <laughs> but buy it and act like it wasn't my life. Right. <laughs> I mean, just go watch it. Like, oh, that was me. My sister stole ice. <laughs> That's stupid. Like, what? Like, I just don't it's understand. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Oh Lord. Okay. Next story. Say what? Go ahead, Tamika. Oh, I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> because we say, oh, oh, y'all. So I know y'all seen it in the media and on Instagram, on Twitter and stuff like this. So Kim Kardashian is walking out the hotel in France, and a um, uh, what are they? Paparazzi person says, "Hey, Kim, where's Baby North?" Y'all know what she did. What she did? Turned around and said, "Oh." And walked back in the hotel and got her baby. Say what? Say what? <laughs> you forgot your baby. I'm telling y'all, that baby is an accessory. She a real pretty accessory, but that baby is an accessory. Did you see the pictures of Kim and Baby North in the lace? Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. You know. Why is that baby in the lace? Here's the thing. Lace shoulders would have been cute if everything else was blacked out. Lace shoulders and like maybe like a little lace, like little headband or something like that. Mm. Would have been cute. But you got a sweetheart line lace. It's perverts out here in the world. I was about to say that. I'm just going to be this, honest. This, this is 2014. And, and look at your baby from the time they come out the womb. Right. Male or female. Right. And you're you're already up under a lot of scrutiny. You're already in the watchful eye. And I understand that this designer made it. But you should have said, dear designer, you're going to have to make something that covers my baby up. Right. Point blank in the period. And then you got the baby dressed up like you. You naked. Right. That's. It's just it's, it, it's, it's irresponsible parody. I think you're so caught up in the media, like, mm-hmm. I, and you just not thinking. You're not being a parent. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. this is Nora. She cute. Let's bring her out. Right. And you're so caught up in the attention that you don't even care that that's your baby. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's 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 your responsibility. That's yeah. somebody you're supposed to take care of. That's yours for the rest of your life on this earth. I'm good on mm-hmm. that, but then you forget her in the hotel. So I mean. That's shows how much you really care. I about just your I kid. can't I, I and people already know how I feel about the Kardashians. I can't be a part of that <laughs> buffoonery. And I and people know how I feel about Kanye West. I can't be a part of his crazy. Right. There you go. Uh, that's look at that's crazy. Look that's, at baby I, I, never. Never. And her belly out too. Aw. It's but not. Y'all, she's so cute. She. And you know what? I, 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 I have to give I have to girl. give her the props. She is a she's a cute baby, but. She comes from two destructive parents that need help. Mm-hmm. The, the, uh, she, uh, a crazy man and a whoremonger media attention whore. Aww. Sorry. Oh, but you know, like Ooh. Drea said, your wholeness go away after a certain amount of time, right? Not right? Okay, say what? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, that wasn't nice of me to say. I'm sorry. But, I mean, it's just, it's what you put out. And that's, I, I don't know her personally. But at the end of the day, it's like what is what she puts out. I mean, right. I mean, it is what it is. I just I, I feel like again, it, it's just they're so focused on the media and so focused on themselves that they don't really too much care about the baby. Right. I mean, get it together. It is what it is. All right. Speaking of two couple, a couple. Well, they're not a couple anymore. But Jordan Sparks and Jason Derulo, <laughs> they're over. They have broken up. Oh Lord. But here's the thing. They've been together for like three years. Yeah. Um, and she used to, you know, she used to wear a purity ring, and she was such a wholesome girl or whatever. But apparently, allegedly, rumors say that he, they were silent about it at first, but then he started going off saying, you know, she was pressuring me to marry me. She was pressuring him to marry her, and you know, all this other stuff was going in about the relationship, blah blah blah. And he was like, I can't do this. I'm not trying to do this. I'm 25. I want to be free. I ain't trying to be a part of all that. Say what? Um, I'm, I'm gonna say this. You've been with this girl for three years, right? And this, you're and you're now just deciding that you don't want to be a part of it anymore. Let me tell. I'm gonna tell you what I think happened. And this is this is real spit, real quick. I think what happened because ain't nobody know who Jason Derulo was. Right. Nobody. I knew who he was because I like that song. What you say? What you say? And I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I like that song, but nobody knew who he was until you came out with that song. Talk dirty to me. That was just, that was one of the songs of this summer. Mm-hmm. And once he started doing that, then he started getting all this notoriety because he used to complain. He even complained one time because he didn't get nominated for any BET awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he still complained this year. But but the black audience started taking notice of him after um, Talk Dirty Till came out because he two changes on that on that song. Right. He has another song out called uh, What Would You Do With That Big Fat Butt? And that has Snoop Dogg on it. Oh. So it's like he's he now is getting these black rappers, these people to... It basically is helping him with his cred, right. his street cred right. or whatever. So this is what I think happened. I think he got the big head, mm-hmm. and I feel like he got all the attention now from these women. Yes. I'm sure he was getting it before, but now he's getting even more. Right. And he's like, you know what? I'm 25. I don't need you no more. You good, and I'm going to be about my merry way. And what, I think that's very dirty if that's the case. What kills me with him is 
Jordan Smart sat with you through your through the wire Kanye West accident and when you like to broke your legs, all three of them and your neck. And she sat there with you and she took care of you while she was filming Sparkle, which was a breakout film for her with Whitney Houston. And she had all this stuff going on and she still went to the hospital. She still was there with you every night and praying for you and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden you good? Who wants you? Say what? Who you gonna get? <laughs> like for real, for real. Hey, okay, you you all right. You might be a little handsomer now that I know that you got a little money, but you're I, nobody to me. I, I mean, it's funny. Really? I think George Sparks definitely upgraded him. George will definitely help. It's him. okay because she's gonna upgrade again, and he's gonna be mad. Because of course, he's, she's George Sparks. He's irrelevant. She's, she's beautiful. She's, 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 she's very she's beautiful. Gonna, she's gonna push on. She has a beautiful voice. She mm-hmm. has an awesome career. She's a great actress. So and and she and she's even not promoting the movie now. She's she's doing a new Left Behind film yep. that comes out Friday uh, today. It's out now. So she's out promoting that. So I mean. Man, whatever. George Sparks, you do you. You keep it moving. You're and beautiful. I think she's going to be great. She's going to be awesome. I think it's very unfortunate because I, I, I think they originally agreed to kind of keep their breakup quiet, quiet and about he it. Talking and he started going and talking radio. on radio and everything. I'm just like, that's not Thank cool. You. That's not cool. Why? You, for what? What's the, what, what's the purpose of you going in right. like that? Especially if you had an original agreement. Yeah. I could see if, like, Things ended real nasty. And you just didn't care. And then you didn't care on But I mean, it's kind of, I don't know. I just, again, I just kind of feel like that's, you don't do that, man. Especially some of you been, she she rolled with you for three years, dude. And she seems like she's such a good woman. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I just kind of, I, again, I think he got the big head. And I feel like, you know, talked dirty to me, boosted him up a lot. And he's just not like, he thinking he, he a boss. And he can roll with all the OGs. But breakups is in the air because you know they came out with the recent stuff with Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose, and yeah. um, you know, with her going on Hot ninety seven and basically saying that he was with those twins. They were separated, but nobody knew they were separated. But they were separated, and she was coming to bring Sebastian. I think that's the baby's name mm-hmm. to see him. Um, she surprised him. A, you separated, don't surprise your man, because he not your man. Y'all separated. Um, you might want to knock. And so she got the room key because, you know, she's the wife. She can get the room key. She got the room key. She walked in. It was twins, twin strippers in bed with her husband. You play it out of your head how you want to play it out. (laughs) And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Not the one girl that she caught him with numerous times, but those twins. Those twins was too much for her. Mm. So, yeah, and I just feel like... um. Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose was kind of like my Will and Jada. I'm not going to lie. I mean. They were? Yes. Like, I really thought that their marriage was real. Yeah. Everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy. But I'm being real serious. And you be, really you be honest like with yourself. That's, that's your opinion. She was really in love with that man, though. She could have had anybody after she left Kanye. Because Kanye brought her into the limelight. And she could have had anybody because she's a beautiful girl. And she got with rat face Wiz Khalifa. So, I just feel like. That's a lot of shade. And <laughs> I just feel like you didn't appreciate it. Mm. Mm. I don't like it. Um, what do you think about Nick and Mariah since we're talking about breakups? Oh, they was broke up before they got together, though. <laughs> really? They did the Khloe Kardashian and Lamar. Oh, we met, then we went to Disney World and we got married, then we had twins, and now we getting a divorce. Girl, but I can't nobody be with that diva anyway. Mm. I ain't even gonna lie. I really don't even think it's all Nick Cannon's fault. Even though, you know, Nick Cannon is connected to uh, Amber, Rose. Amber Rose. But, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because I can never see. Mariah Carey is a beautiful woman. She's a great singer. She Was. did a lot. Aww. <laughs> She's done a lot. Shade. She's done a lot. But I just feel like when it comes to relationships... She's kind of like Holly Berry. Oh. Too beautiful to be with anyone. Wow. And Strong. I mean, I really feel like he gave in a lot, and he gave up a lot to try to be in that relationship with her. And you can tell who wore the pants in that relationship, no matter what it was. When they had interviews, she'll be like, he'll be like, oh, he'd be scared to answer things. He'll look at her before he answers certain types of things. And, mm-hmm. you know, Mariah's been through a lot, so she feels like a man should just do what she say do since she was locked in the closet when she was 18 with her first husband. But I just feel like, what, y'all? It's say what? So, <laughs> I just feel like it is what it is. Nick gonna move on. Mm. He can't dye his hair again or make another album, but he's gonna move on. <laughs> it's 
Speaking of moving on, um, here's my last story for say. Well, I don't know if we got some more, but this is my last one. Um, I watched a show called Mistresses that comes on ABC. It just got renewed for its third season. But the star of the show, Alyssa Milano, you know her from Who's the Boss, and she was on Charmed. Uh, Charmed. But um, she tweeted that she would not be returning to the show. Say hey, what? what? <laughs> like, what? Like, no. What do you mean? Why are you not? Okay, so here's the, here's the deal. I'm going to break it down real quick. Basically, Melissa, Alyssa Milano and, and this blonde lady here, right here, they're sisters on the show. She, Alyssa Milano's Claire decided that she was once she was married. They got divorced this season, and then she, Harry, which is her ex husband, started working with her sister. They became a little too close, and on the last um, episode, the sister and ex husband were having sex on the beach. Oh. And so then Alyssa Milano sat cat's character savvy. She was walking on the beach to go find Harry. And she saw them. She see that's oh, where, that's, so we had, that's where oh. it ended. It ended with her walking on the beach as if she was about to walk towards them. Maybe. Because see, savvy sis, sa, je, the, the sister was that was actually her wedding day to another man. Oh. So that's how the season ended with the ex husband and the sister having sex on the beach, and then savvy was walking towards them. So my say with the reason why I'm a little angry because I'm like, but why are you not coming back though? Because the scene ended on you. Like, and also, too, because here's the thing. Alyssa Milano was pregnant during filming of season two. Okay. So, she just, she didn't have the baby. And she said the reason why she, you know, she wants to spend more time with her family and all this, everything. So, that, it's like single ladies. I mean. Old girl. No, um, no, no. No, because she wants to spend time with her family. But her, her children are, are, are well grown enough for that. No, that's not the same situation. This is a fresh baby. Oh, like, just, okay. just born. But my, my thing is this. You, I love Alyssa Milano, but you read the script. You knew that you, you were going to be the last scene. You should have said something then. You should have been like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to come back for season three. Then we wouldn't end it on you. Yeah, you would have drowned it on that beach or something. <laughs> just something. I, just, I, just, I, I know things happen, but I kind of feel like when you know that you don't want to come back for the next season, I feel like you should say something to the writers so that way they can write it better because okay. us as fans, we're going to want to see you. Harrison. <laughs> okay, though. No, he got, he got fired. Know. That was different. They killed him off in a letter. Bro, did you see his foot this season? This week on the, this week's episode, his yeah. foot, Harrison four. I mean, Harrison right foot. <sighs> I can't. I cannot. Y'all know I cried. Oh man. Oh man. Well, our clock just ran out, so I think that's it for us. Make sure you tune in to watch Karma. The new episode came out today. Make sure you watch it on YouTube. Type in Karma the web series. You can check it out. Star Ashley Black, Tyrese Lawless, Rodriguez, Chandler, and Altina Menifee. Terrence also makes an appearance on the show. Well, not this one, but he's on. He's on the series. <laughs> so <laughs> you didn't say too much today, Terrence. No, I didn't. God, I didn't get a chance to watch much of the shows this week. Oh. Been really busy working on a new movie. Oh, the nephew. Oh, oh God. God. excuse me. Give it all to him. I'm trying to trying to get the trailer done, and y'all just look forward to it in November. Okay, okay. awesome. Okay. Everybody's doing big things. I love it. So, with that said, thank y'all for tuning in for thank Coffee you. Says Live. Now, next week, here's two things: either we won't be here, or we'll be broadcasting live in Chicago. Either or. So I don't know. So we'll see how that works. If, so if you don't see us next Friday, I warned you. <laughs> just watch us again this one was really entertaining it was definitely watch it on repeat <laughs> <laughs> see y'all <Bye>. <laughs>